Function of the calculator method on vector analysis. Now, don't forget that I explained that vector are those that have both magnitude and direction. Now, vector analysis. Now, for instance, if you are given two directions, three directions, now let us see some examples. Now, if you are asked, if you are given, let's firstly talk about the magnitude of a vector. Now, the magnitude of a vector, if you are asked to find, if you are given vector A to be equal to 2i plus 3j, 2i plus 3j, and you are asked to find the magnitude of this vector. Now, you can use your hand to solve, but um, trying to use the calculator to solve this. Now, how will you do this? You press your mode, then go to vector, which is number 8. And don't forget that we are given just only one vector. That's one. Now, this one, where you are now, will ask you if the vector you want to insert is three by three, uh, three direction rather, or two direction. Now, if you check this, it is just two direction. We have I, we have J, just two. So, you are going to press two here. Now, when you press two, you now insert the vector given to you, the coefficient only. That is, the first one here is two. So, press two and press equals two. Then the second here we have three, so press three and press equals two. Now if you press this, you now press AC since you've incited the vector given. Now I will now press the magnitude of this vector. You press shift and you press HYPA, which is hypotenuse. It will give you absolute. Now absolute of which vector? That is vector A. Then that is shift and you'll notice that there is vector here, which is number five. So I press that. Don't forget you save. This vector has vector A, which is number one, number three. So close the bracket. This is the close bracket and press equals to. Now you observe the magnitude, which is the symbol is this, of this vector A is 3.60. That's the answer. Now let us go to another question. Now if we are given vector, let's say vector D to be equal to I minus 2G then plus 7K. Now, you are now asked to find the magnitude of this vector d. Now, the same thing. So, press your mode, then press your vector, which is number what? Number 8. Now, go to, you can save it as any vector, since it is just only one. Now, let's go. At this stage, we, are, we have 1 ratio 3, then 2 ratio 2. It's only asking us that if the dimension given to us is 3, or is odd, it's two. If it is three, you press one. If it is two, you press two. So because this is i, j, k, so it is three, we press one. Then let us insert. The coefficient of i here is one. So press one and press equals two. The coefficient of j is minus two. So we have minus two and press equals two. The coefficient of k here is seven. So press seven and press equals two. And after you are done, you press your ac. When you are done insertion, the value of uh, the value of the question given to us, then you press what? You press AC. Now, since we press AC, then we'll now go to the question. The question says we should find the magnitude of what? Of this vector D. Now, we can call it absolute, we can call it magnitude. Now, you now press shift, and you press the button of the absolute HYP here, and to give you ABS. The absolute of your press shift, I press the button of vector here, don't forget, you inserted your value, you, the question given as vector A. So, and that's number one, number three. So, press, close the bracket, and press the question. You observe that the magnitude of this vector is 3 point, uh, sorry, 7.34. 7.34. Now, after this, we move straight to when you are asked to find the Dutch products. The Dutch product, let's if a question is given to you to so find this dot product or the scalar product, don't forget it. The scalar product is also known as what dot product, and don't forget that when you dot two vectors, your answer must be scalar. That is, it must give you just an answer, it's not have direction, it's not have IJK because. The loss is the dot products of two vectors is scalar. Don't forget, a scalar 
quantity you only process the magnitude with no direction you only process magnitude with no direction so the scalar product of two vectors is always equals to what so uh, the dot product of two vectors is always what scalar so that is it to process magnitude only and let's assume you are given vector a to be 2i plus let's say 4j you have given vector b to be i minus 7j now you are now asked to find the dot products of these two vectors how will you do that you press your mode go to the vector that's it don't forget we have to insert vector a first that's one then don't forget vector the two vectors are two directions so press two for this in order to insert the first vector now the first vector which is vector a the coefficient of i is two so press two and press equals two next one is four so press four and press equals two now before you press ac you are not done with inserting so press shift and the vector a go to data then go to vector b then your vector b is how many dimension that's two direction so press two and that was insert for vector b the coefficient of i is one so press one and press equals two the coefficient of j is minus seven so press minus seven and press equals two then press ac after you press ac we now go the question says find vector a dot vector b vector a dot vector b you notice it is a scalar product so press your after you press ac press your shift five you'll be using shift five vector for vector i will press shift five now vector a is number three then press shift five again for your dots you notice that dot is at number seven so press seven then press shift five again for your vector b which is number four so press equals two you observe that the dot product of this is minus 26 the dot product is minus 26 now let us go to three dimension now if you are given vector a to be 2i let's say minus 3j plus 7k and I give vector B to be, let's say you have 5i plus 2j minus 6k. Now you are asked to find a dot b. You are asked to find a dot b. Now what do you press? You press your mode. You go to your vector, which is number 8. Now vector a. Vector a is three dimensions. So press 1. Then let us insert the vector. You press 2, you press equals 2. You press minus 3, you press equals 2. Then you press 7, you press equals 2. After you start for vector A, we now go for vector B. But don't forget the same thing for what? For vector B. Then you now press your shift 5 here. Go to data. Then go to number 2. Don't forget that vector B is 2. Then vector B you want to insert also contain 3 dimensions. That is 1. So let us insert. You press 5, you press equals 2. That's the first coefficient. Next one is 2, you press equals 2. And the next one is minus 6, you press equals 2. Then after you have inserted all your values, you know, then press your AC. After that, let's go to the question. That's shift 5, your vector A. That's 3. You know, you press shift 5 again for your dot, which is number 7. Then press shift 5 again for your vector B, which is number 4. Then press equals 2. The answer here is minus 38. So in case you are doing... The CBT question, then you can use this calculator method for the aspect of vector analysis. Now let us proceed. Now, aside scalar products, they can ask you to find the vector products. Vector products. Now, the vector products is also known as cross products. Now, don't forget that if you cross two products, and if you cross two vectors rather, you must have your answer to be vector. What do I mean? This cross product of two vectors must be ve uh, this, the cross product of two vectors must be vector. What am I talking about? Is that when you cross two products, uh, two vectors, your answer must have both magnitude and direction. Your answer must have both magnitude and direction. That is when you cross two vectors. So unlike the one of the uh, scalar products that you have just the what? Just the answer alone. Just the magnitude alone. But here you must have both magnitude and direction.
What am I talking about? Now let us see. If you are given vector A, vector A, let's say vector A is equal to 2i, let me use minus 3j, I have vector B to be 4i, then you now see, let's say, plus 16j, plus 16j. I have to find A cross B. What is A cross B? Now coming to this, you press your mode, when you press your mode, you go to your vector, your vector, that's A, vector A, that's 1. The vector we are dealing with now is two by two directions. So you press two, then let us insert the coefficient. You press two, you press equals two, you press minus three, you press equals two. Then we are done inserting for vector a. So press shift your vector, which is five, before you press your AC. So press your data and go to vector b, which is number two. Now vector b you want to insert is also two dimension. So go, to, you press two. Then let us insert for the values. The first one is four. Press equals two. The next one is sixteen. Then press equals two. Then after you are done, you now press AC. Now we are asked to find the cross. Cross is just the multiplication in between them. Now press shift. Your you'll be using shift five. Don't forget shift five. Your vector A is three. Then your cross product is the normal multiplication here. Then press shift five. Then press your vector B, which is number four. Then press equals two. As you can see. Now the first one here, anything you have here will have the value here. As you can see, we have it to be 0i. They come to this place. You have this place to be plus 0j as well. They come to this place, you have it to be plus 44k. So if you have this, that is the final answer. That shows that we have, there is no i there. There is no direction to i there. We don't have j, we don't have what. We only have k, which is 44k. So that is the answer. So let us see if you have vector A to be 2i plus 7j minus 12k. I have vector B to be 6i minus 7, let's say minus, minus 3j plus 8k. Now you are asked to find A cross B. Now I will find A cross B from here. Press your mode. Let's go to vector that's eight. Press your one. The vector we are dealing with is three dimensions, so press one. So let us insert the coefficient for the first one. You press two, you press equals two. You press seven, you press equals two. You press minus twelve, you press equals two. Now press shift and you press five for this. Go to data. Go to vector b. Vector b is also three dimension. That's you press one. So let us press the coefficient. As you press six, you press equals two. The next one is minus two. You press the cost to the next one is 8. You press the cost to. After inserting all your values, you press AC. And let us go to the question. The question is A cross B. So how we press A cross B? So you press Shift 5. You observe that you have your vector A at number what? Number 3. So press 3. Then cross is multiplication sign here. Then press Shift 5 as well. Your vector B is number what? Number 4. You press the cost to. You observe that what you have in this place is what is showing here. So the first one is 32. So you just, all by putting i to it, then come to the next one here, you have minus 88. Minus 88, and you press your what? You add j to it. Then come to the next one here, you have minus 46, then you insert what? You insert k to it. Now this is how to do the vector products of two vectors. Now, don't forget, I've been able to cover the magnitude of two vectors, the scalar product of two vectors, and the vector product or the cross product of two vectors. Now, this is the question I'm going to solve next, and I'm ending this section. Now, if you are given something like this, if you have vector A to be 2i plus 3j minus 4k, I have given vector B to be, let's say you have minus 3J, minus 3I, minus 3I, plus 4J, plus 2K. I have given vector C to be 7I, minus 8J. And you are asked to find 3C dot 2A cross B. 
Now, see the option. We have option A, we have 924. Option B, we have 540. Option C, we have 384. And we have option D, we have 284. Now, if you are solving this through and you can know the way to solve this. But I don't have interest in solving through and, and that is why I'm using the calculator to solve this. Now, let us see. How are you going to solve this kind of question when you want to use your calculator to solve this? Now, let us start again. Press your mode, then press your vector, which is number 8. Now, go to vector A. Vector A is three dimensions, so press 1. Now, after you press 1, then let us go to the question. Let us insert for vector A. The coefficient for I is 2, so press 2 and press equals 2. For J is 3, press 3 and press equals 2. For K is minus 4, press minus 4 and press equals 2. That's for the vector A. Now, let's go to vector B. You now press shift your vectors, that's 5. Go to data, you go to vector B, which is number 2. Vector B is also three dimensions, so press 1. Let us insert for that. The first one, the coefficient for i is minus 3, so press minus 3 and press equals 2. For j is 4, press 4 and press equals 2. For k is 2, press 2 and press equals 2. Now, you now press shift and you press the vector B. Now, many of you will find it difficult in order to solve this question because you are given vector C to be two dimension. Now, let's go to vector C, that's number 3. Now, in this case, you know, you will not put your vector C to be two dimension. The reason is because, now the reason is because of the question. Now, take note, you cannot dot a vector of two dimension with a vector of three dimension. Now, can you see, vector C is two dimension with vectors, uh, with vector A and B of odds of three dimension. You cannot dot this, it, is, it can never be possible. But the only reason why it should be possible is that you will not make the one of two dimensions to become three, in what sense? Instead of it to be, so vector C will now become 7i minus 8j, then plus 0k. Can you see that zero there is nothing, but we just need to make it up to be what? To be three dimension. So in, in, uh, instead of you to press two, you not press two, you press one, so that you insert this for three dimension. So let us go. Vector C here, so you press the first one, seven equals two, Next one is minus 8. You press equals 2. And lastly, the last aspect that you press 0 there. So press 0 and press equals 2. Then that's, now press AC. And let's go to the question. The question says 3C dots 2A cross B. So let us follow the question. 3, you press 3. The press shifts 5. You press the vector C, which is number 5. Dot. Don't forget where you see your dot. That's shift 5. You see your dots at number seven. Then open the bracket. We have two. I press your shift five. You see your vector A at number three. The cross is multiplication here. The press shift five again. Your vector B is number one, number four. Close the bracket and press equals two. Guys, that the answer here is what is five forty. So the answer here is five forty. So instead of you using your hand to solve this in the exam or in the CBT exam. Then can use your calculator to solve as soon as possible. Now, let me give you a question here and give me the final answer at the comment section. And let me have the final answer to this question at the comment section. Now, imagine you have, if you are given vector A to be 2i plus 4j plus 6k. You are given vector b to be, let's say, 4i minus 20j plus 12k. Find a dot b. Find a dot, a dot b. Let me have the answer at the comment section. Thank you very much. I made my humble self. Ishola the blessing. Popular known as General David. So like subscribe and follow us for more videos please help us to share the video for other people to see thank you very much god bless you